Now here's another way of looking at it. If you had a 12 foot drop of water, that's potential, 12 feet of potential energy, as it falls onto this water wheel and hits each paddle, that energy is converted into work and makes the wheel rotate. And that water is going to drop all the way down until all of its energy is consumed by the work. Now let's change this from water to electricity with the battery. We have a battery and that battery has 12 volts of potential energy. And we have a load. So just like the water dropping powers the wheel or does the work, the voltage dropping powers the load or does the work. The water wheel may have several paddles, but it will take all of the water that comes to it. The circuit may have several loads, but it will take all of the voltage that comes at it. All of the water is consumed by the wheel, and all of the voltage is consumed by the load. So in the circuit, voltage is electrical pressure, and resistance is electrical opposition to that pressure. Remember, the purpose of volts is to overcome the resistance in the circuit. So when that pressure completely overcomes the opposition, nothing is left. Zero volts. Remember our picture of pressure overcoming the opposition? If that pressure does not fully overcome the opposition, something's left over. There's resistance in the circuit somewhere because we did not drop all of the voltage. We have a reading above zero because there's resistance in the circuit.